I won three races this year. The rad, I won a brick. The second, Schwamigan, it's a trophy I wasn't allowed to bring home. And the third, Iceman, the trophy melts. So what am I left with? Let me show you. Welcome to Iceman. Iceman is a point to point, 28 to 30 mile race that starts in Kalkaska, Michigan. Then this is in Traverse City at Timber Ridge Resort. And in between, there's a little single track, a little double track, some dirt roads, and a whole lot of fun. So I think where I wanna start this year is by going back 34 years. Iceman started with 35 people, uh, $5 entry, no title sponsor, no prize money, uh, just a bunch of crazy people who wanted to ride from Kalkaska to Traverse City and see if it was fun. And it was. And every year, that's grown. And when you ask or you hear why people come back, it's the people, it's the community, it's the chaos. And what's beautiful about that to me is that it all started so long ago. And every year it builds and more and more people create memories on the first week of November in Northern Michigan. Future Alexa here. So I'm gonna take you through Iceman 2023. Um, and to me, that story starts with the creation of the bike that I raced. Um, I raced some very special Factor Lando frame. Uh, it was hand painted by my girlfriend Sophie, finished by Dan Ellis at Upbike, and was created to epitomize the race that is so special to so many people. It included trail names and places we partied at in the past and people. And the goal of it was that anybody who came and looked at the frame saw something different. Um, you had the course down the top and you have so much detail that it's almost chaotic from afar. And up close, everybody finds the reason they come back to the race every year. Coming into the race this year, I was, again, um, not really sure of how to play out. Um, always confident of myself, just in a sense of, I feel like I'm pretty fit coming into November compared to a lot of guys. Um, but that never means you're gonna win Iceman. Uh, this year is a super nice, fast course, nice weather. Um, it meant that no matter what, it was going to be a big group on the finish line. Um, I just focused on staying in position and making sure people knew that I was there to race, uh, which is sometimes harder done than said. As we entered Make It Stick, which is about a third of the way through the course, I had this idea that I was gonna go as hard as I could to see what happened. Um, and I did, went pretty, pretty dang hard. And coming out of it, Lesby went over the top of me and I barely held on for dear life. Um, and I looked back and we had a couple splits, but kind of all came back together. So as the race progressed, I kept kind of trying to thinking of like, where is my move this year? Like, what am I gonna do? Am I just gonna take it to the line and see what I can do? Um, I think one of the things people often forget about Iceman is that it's just pure attrition. Every single little hill is a tiny little pick cut. And they seem like nothing until all of a sudden it adds up right at the end. Right, when everyone's yelling at you and your legs stop working, that's the one where you're like, where'd everything go? And so coming into the finish, um, the race really started with about two and a half K to go. Um, we sprinted up this hill and made a hard right into a very narrow single track that popped us out onto another climb um, that led us into the last corner of the race that was single track and then one more climb. Coming into the single track last year, I'd been solo. Um, and so this year, I think I hesitated a little bit on the fight and ended up about fifth. Um, coming out up next time, I found my, found my way into fourth, but still definitely had a lot of work to do. And Sophie actually said to me after the race, she's like, I didn't know if he had it. Um, and to be fair, neither did not. And I think I'll get to that later in the video, but it's something that I learned this year at Icepan that it's never till over till it's over. Um, we came into Bottom Manitas and I realized like I had a little bit left and made my, made my move into second. But it was quite a gap to Tyler has been the last 500 meters of the race. And I really thought about, you know, 30 seconds to go that 
I'd lost the race. I'd finished second for another time. And um, there's always next year. But Iceman giveth and Iceman taketh. Uh, and this year, it ended with a spectacular final quarter. Um, and I was able to take the win one more time. So let's see that story now. After winning Iceman last year and creating a video, Avery and I talked about an idea I've had my whole career that has to do with believing in yourself. We talked about how I didn't think you could just attack or take a chance. You had to attack and believe in yourself. You had to take it a step further. And I got a reminder of that this year, um, both at Big Sugar, where I flatted and chased for 50 miles, uh, and at Iceman, where Tyler crashed in the last corner. There were moments where I stopped believing. I wasn't in control of the race, and I started to let this doubt creep in that, you know, maybe this wasn't my day, wasn't meant to be. But what I've always motiv motivated by my entire life is the stories that are special. They honestly always come from moments that seem unspecial, that seem unlucky. So after Big Sugar, and after Wedding Nice Man, it's a reminder that you always have to race to the finish line, that it's never over, and that no matter how unlucky or bad the day is going, that you never know what it's actually going to be like and take it to the finish. So I race around the country, around the world now. This year, you name it. Gravel Worlds, Unbound, Leadville. They're iconic. They're big, they're crazy. Everyone asks about them. I spent Trump's them all. Isn't that it's the hardest race? It isn't that it, it's the toughest race or has the most altitude or it's the longest. Iceman's just special because it is. There's not really words for it. It's just a feeling. And it's something that every single year, no matter what, I will be in Traverse City first week of November for as long as I can ride a bunch. And you should too. And you should too. And what makes Iceman so special? Hmm. Iceman's special because... Uh, it's the community. It's in my backyard. This is the Super Bowl for bikers. Man, look around. Dude, Icebreaker Hill. It's like world championships. It's just, it's a party. We're all up here in one of the most awesome cities in the country. I think it's probably the most legendary mountain bike race on the continent. Shot. I look fast. Dude, you look so good. <laughs> <laughs> Iceman 2023. <laughs> See you next year.